Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another new edition of World Today, where we get you the latest news headlines and articles making the news around the world. And we'd like to be joined here at the studio by Dr. Nader Mustafa, Parliament member. Thank you, sir, for joining God us. Thank good you very afternoon. much. Very good afternoon to you. And uh, we start off with Ahram Online, and the headline reads, Uganda, foreign minister in Egypt and uh, for an Arab tour and the, the, uh, head, the news itself reads Uganda's foreign minister Henry Oyem Okello arrived on Tuesday in Egypt for the first stop in his Arab tour according to Cairo airport officials. Okello held talks with President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi on bilateral ties between the two countries. During his multiple day visit, Okello met with other top Egyptian government officials to discuss means of boosting cooperation between the two countries in several fields. Uh, how do you see the, sir, uh, the importance of this uh, visit and uh, how do you evaluate bilateral uh, relations between Egypt and Uganda? Uh, uh, first of all, uh, I wish to all our viewers uh, a very happy Ramadan and uh, uh, I wish their families also a very prosperous uh, times. Uh, now we are going uh, with our African relations in a, a uh, very strong uh, kind of ties. Uh, from time to time we are having with them uh, bilateral uh, meetings and on the same time uh, conferences which uh, collect a uh, uh, group of uh, the leaders uh, with our uh, mm -hmm. uh, President Hafez mm -hmm. uh, To be honest, I'm feeling that the African countries realize that Egypt is very honest mm -hmm. on, uh, the de in, on dealing with them. Right. Uh, we are uh, truly uh, active in the issue of uh, having our experiences shared with our African uh, brothers. Right. Uh, we are now arranging lots of uh, training courses for uh, in various fields to our African brothers, mm -hmm. uh, and this make the the African leaders ready to come, ready to discuss, ready mm -hmm. to. To speak with us, mm -hmm. uh, ready to uh, make uh, more trade uh, uh, and investment with us. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe that uh, we are keen to have strong African relations, right. and uh, from time to time, uh, some uh, problem happen or some issue appear. We need to handle all these issues, and we need to be strong in uh, our ties with our brothers. Uh, we are keen about the relations with Africa in various fields mm -hmm. and uh, I can see from uh, the good ties with the African ambassadors here in Cairo mm -hmm. uh, that they are keen about us too and they right. want to strengthen our relations. Uh, there will be uh, specific countries like Uganda this time uh, and there will be various uh, countries that is willing to uh, also share us high level uh, interaction and uh, I believe that uh, President of Fatah Sisi uh, is uh, keen uh, and very much on developing uh, of course yes. uh, Egyptian African relations yes. on all levels we and should, this is uh, we very should take obvious. Care. Yeah, we should right. take care of them because we left our brothers for mm -hmm. long years right. and once uh, two revolutions happened to Egypt and Egyptian citizens are willing more mm -hmm. to encourage Mm -hmm. uh, our African relations, so I believe that we can share a lot right. uh, with them, and this is very clear in mm -hmm. various fields, mm -hmm. uh, not only in the uh, defense and uh, security. Of course, we're looking forward to more cooperation with the African countries yes. on the, the economic level, on the yes. political level, on the military level, and mm -hmm. uh, we, even we, on we the share, culture. We share a lot with them. Right. We share a lot with them. Right. Culture, mm -hmm. history. Mm -hmm. Uh, even we are having the same continent, the same land, the mm -hmm. same nature. Mm -hmm. So they are the nearest for us uh, right. uh, at any level. Right. And uh, we move on to the daily news. And the headline reads, uh, Parliament's Media Committee approves new amendments to press law. The Parliament's Media and Culture Committee approved a legislative amendment aimed at granting President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi the right to reshuffle the Higher Press Council, the body in charge of naming editors and board chairman of state-owned press organizations. The amendment allows the President to issue a decree that gives him the power to appoint a Higher Press Council 
for one temporary term until the new law on the regulation of the press is passed by Parliament. The amendment states that the new Higher Press Council will have the same powers that were granted to the now defunct Upper House of the Shura Council. So how do you see the importance of the amendment and if it has a political dimension? Uh, nothing political. The issue is that uh, for last one year, mm -hmm. uh, the Supreme uh, Council for uh, uh, Media is not doing almost his job. Mm -hmm. uh, there was lots of uh, problems and troubles happen. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's happened in the union, mm -hmm. sometimes of the journalists, sometimes mm -hmm. it happened inside specific uh, organizations. Mm -hmm. I don't want to name uh, any uh, of them. Uh, but uh, mm -hmm. lots of members in the parliament, I believe that there are more than 300, mm -hmm. uh, realize that there should be uh, a high uh, intervention mm -hmm. in order to achieve some kind of stability you know because mm -hmm. these uh, institutions are very strong institutions mm -hmm. this is uh, owned uh, by the nation owned by the Egyptian people and it need to work strong mm -hmm. we cannot leave this institution for more than one year without uh, leaders mm -hmm. or their leaders are sitting uh, after finishing their term mm -hmm. this will be uh, let me say, uh, away from law. Mm -hmm. We need uh, uh, law and order to return to these institutions. Right, what are the most important uh, items in this amendment? It's, it's, it's one item amendment. Mm -hmm. That uh, amendment gives the president mm -hmm. of the Fatah Sisi mm -hmm. uh, the right to uh, adjust the situation and put uh, the leaders for editor chef or, or uh, ch chairperson mm -hmm for these institutions mm -hmm. in order to return, uh, return the stability and uh, uh, to uh, make sure that the situation is going on in this institution mm -hmm. without any kind of losing control. Yeah. Uh, the issue, uh, I believe, uh, came from one uh, member of the uh, parliament and uh, almost 300 accepted this and came to the committee of uh, media and culture mm -hmm. and uh, the committee accepted this yesterday I was mm -hmm. one of the members uh, sitting inside the committee and uh, I, I myself accept this uh, there was five uh, members or less uh, rejecting this in order to uh, uh, they doesn't want any kind of interference mm -hmm. in the uh, in, the, in this kind of uh, uh, institu in this in these institutions right but the issue is that uh, double this number or mm -hmm. more than double mm -hmm. the majority mm -hmm. uh, see that we should uh, once we are waiting for the law of media and mm -hmm. the law of media maybe uh, it will delay for some time then mm -hmm. we should have mm -hmm. uh, leaders in these institutions able to manage the situation right. we cannot leave for long mm -hmm. uh, uh, leaders that already their term finish uh, there is uh, uh, problem in some institutions mm -hmm. and uh, there should th the stability should be there in order to give the full right for the manager or the editor in order to uh, manage the situation without mm -hmm. any how come we leave somebody after uh, one year almost of finishing his term it's 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 not uh, lawful Right, definitely, sir. And we move on to the independent and the UN approves high seas crackdown on Libya's arms embargo. The United Nations Security Council unanimously authorized the crackdown on arms smuggling in the high seas of Libya by allowing the inspections of vessels for illicit weapons. The European Union proposed the Council resolution to expand its naval operation in the Mediterranean, which the 15-member Security Council authorized in October to seize and dispose of boats operated by human traffickers. The Council resolution expressed concern that arms and related material are being used by terrorist groups operating in Libya, Daesh. How would be the impact of this uh, UN decision on the security uh, situation in Libya, in your opinion? Before air, we were discussing this kind of news. Of course, it, it's, 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 it's very important and uh, it's very confusing also. Uh, yes. What's behind this uh, resolution? I don't know. Maybe citizens in the Middle East now are... Uh, uh, 
they are not trusting the mm -hmm. international community when when uh, when something happened from EU or United Nation or mm -hmm. uh, uh, superpowers. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we feel that uh, each and every step will affect the stability in the region, even right. when they are uh, announcing that these efforts is uh, to prevent uh, illegal uh, uh, smuggling, uh, smuggling of weapons. Of, of, for weapons. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, we are we are not sure about the role of the uh, of uh, uh, European Union or United Nations in this. Mm -hmm. They are the one who uh, make the issue in Libya. Uh, mm -hmm. that much mm -hmm. difficult and that mm -hmm. much uh, dangerous mm -hmm. so and and how do you assess the security situation in libya right now uh, this is the issue we are uh, uh, seeing that uh, fighting is there increasing like uh, in a very strong way mm -hmm. so i believe that uh, the efforts should go uh, toward peace Mm -hmm. the, 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 the efforts should be uh, honest enough. Mm -hmm. uh, if they announce that they are against smuggling weapons, mm -hmm. this should be with all parties. Mm -hmm. This should not uh, be with one party and uh, uh, against the other. Mm -hmm. They should do it for the sake of peace, mm -hmm. not for the sake of more mm -hmm. uh, uh, fighting. Right. And uh, this should reflect uh, on the situation mm -hmm. right. inside Libya. This should uh, give the Libyan citizens their right. Mm -hmm. This should return Libya to the situation that... Uh, and this should keep our borders also safe. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm scared that their interference will, will make the Egyptian-Libyan borders more dangerous and more unstable. Mm -hmm. So their interference should be honest interference. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we suffer a lot from this kind of, uh, of good words. Especially that this came after uh, we've seen some advances uh, for the uh, Libyan army yes. uh, by uh, Haftar, yes. Haftar's yes. army. Yes. We've seen some advances, especially in the city of Sirte. So I wish... So uh, how I, do you uh, connect yes. that's, that's the, that's the why I'm saying That's why I'm saying with, clearly uh, that right. I wish mm -hmm. the international interference mm -hmm. uh, to be uh, with the help of Egypt uh, with arrangement. Mm -hmm. uh, I know very well that there is nothing happening internationally w in Libya without uh, full arrangement with Egypt. But mm -hmm. uh, I want this, uh, and now we are we are member of the S mm -hmm. Security Council. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that this is going on, but I need more cooperation with Egypt, and mm -hmm. I need this to be honest mm -hmm. uh, uh, steps, not to affect our uh, uh, national security, mm -hmm. and not to affect and damage more mm -hmm. the, this uh, region. Do you think the new unity government in Libya will succeed in achieving its goals? It depends also on uh, uh, to what extent they are uh, doing for uh, the sake of the ordinary uh, mm -hmm. Libyan citizen. Mm -hmm. uh, if they are going uh, for the sake of Libyans, for the sake of stability, for the sake of regaining their mm -hmm. own country and regaining their own army, mm -hmm. this will be uh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Rather than this, uh, they need to, to uh, really rethink about their country and mm -hmm. uh, put uh, forward uh, and put in the beginning their, their national security. Right, and uh, moving on to World Bulletin, and the headline reads, the Netanyahu stresses Arab peace initiative must be rewritten. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said a long dormant Arab peace initiative with the Palestinians that he has spoken for reviving must be changed before Israel can support it. Netanyahu made the comments to members of his Likud party. Israeli media reported after facing pressure from right-wing members of his cabinet over his recent comments on the Arab initiative. Members of the religious nationalist Jewish Home Party who hold key positions in Netanyahu's cabinet oppose a Palestinian state. How do you find the peace uh, initiative and its influence on the settling of the Middle East uh, peace process? It's very clear from the words of Netanyahu that he doesn't want uh, really peace. He just uh, playing with the issue of uh, peace. Uh, I'm not so old, but uh, from the uh, from my from my childhood, I'm listening to the Israeli leaders, they are saying the same kind same of words. words. They are not, same uh, statements, they same not, declarations. They are not, yeah, and they are not willing to, to achieve uh, mm -hmm. uh, peace. They are only uh, maneuvering 
on the media, mm -hmm. uh, giving uh, this much news here, this much mm -hmm. uh, sound bites there, uh, right. small, small video uh, by political declaration here and there, but they are not, uh, mm -hmm. they are not honest mm -hmm. uh, in the deal of uh, uh, in their declarations. Peace right? And, uh, and mm -hmm. uh, I believe that they are having a strong hand Mm -hmm. on the issue of instability in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. they, are, they are part of it, they are mm -hmm. making benefit of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I believe that they, they want this to continue mm -hmm. in order to uh, be the strongest, uh, the most stable country on the region. Right. And uh, I wish uh, that uh, all Arab countries will take care of uh, what's going on and defend their mm -hmm. uh, countries. Uh, Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm, I'm speaking directly to the ordinary uh, Arab citizens mm -hmm. to defend their countries and to take care of uh, their countries. Otherwise, if we keep listening mm -hmm. to this kind of uh, mm -hmm. uh, news, mm -hmm. we will not achieve a lot. Mm -hmm. Right, and uh, moving on to another news item in, uh, and moving on to Iraq, the Daily Star says operation on Iraq's Fallujah has displaced 43,000. Iraq's offensive to retake Daesh militants bastion of Fallujah has displaced 43,000 people in just over three weeks, the International Organization for Migration said. The IOM identified a total of 43,470 internally displaced Iraqis from Fallujah district between 22nd of May and 13th of June, it said in a statement. It said 10,000 people had fled between June 11 and 13 alone. The majority of the displaced were not from the city itself but lived in outlying rather in outlying rather areas uh, how could uh, that action raise fears of sectarian killings in uh, fallujah um, i'm feeling that the uh, situation now in, uh, 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 controlled uh, uh, areas by uh, daesh or is is uh, very difficult on the ramadan time mm -hmm. i I wish if uh, the day will come for uh, those citizens to return to their homes mm -hmm. and uh, to live ordinary uh, life, especially on this uh, holy month of Ramadan. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to stand with uh, those who are suffering in uh, fighting areas uh, right. in, the, uh, in mm -hmm. the Arab countries. We mm -hmm. should take care, we should support. Uh, of searching, course, searching for all solution, Arab countries should political, unite uh, yeah, political uh, due, due to the instability, of course, yes, in the for, region. For, for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, let's see some political initiatives or uh, support to those who are uh, in need on these holy days in mm -hmm. order to stand next to them and uh, achieve something. Uh, we should not forget mm -hmm. uh, their suffering under those terrorists. Of course, the humanitarian defend, uh, situation defend, yes. in most Arab countries, yes. we should defend or our rather in, also like in Iraq, Libya, in uh, in Syria, yes. the, the humanitarian situation is is so bad. Yes. And, uh, yeah. I think there should be uh, something to be done by other Arab countries. And uh, moving on to the Global Post, the headline reads: Iran's Khamenei warns U.S. candidates over nuclear deal. Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei warned candidates in the U.S. presidential election against questioning the Islamic Republic's nuclear deal with world powers. Republican candidate Donald Trump has called the nuclear agreement catastrophic. In March, Trump said that if elected, his first foreign policy priority would be to dismantle the deal and what he said was Tehran's global terror network. So what are your expectations for Trump's stance towards Iran if he wins in the uh, upcoming presidential elections? I, I'm feeling that the relation between Iran and America is getting more strong. Mm -hmm. They are now... Uh, After the nuclear deal, yes, of course. Yes. And right. even before. Mm -hmm. Even before. Mm -hmm. They are friends. They are mm -hmm. discussing all the time. Sometimes they are arguing uh, each other. They are having uh, some uh, problems with their uh, between mm -hmm. leaders. But mm -hmm. by the end of the day, they are... Uh, they are very close friends. Mm -hmm. They are uh, caring of uh, their uh, uh, needs and uh, caring for their uh, mutual benefits. Benefits, and mm -hmm. uh, they are uh, having uh, almost dialogue not only between current uh, president but also uh, for future president. Mm -hmm. They are having uh, 
dialogue, mm -hmm. let me say. Mm -hmm. And this dialogue, uh, I have lots of doubt about it. Mm -hmm. uh, for the sake of whom, against whom, uh, for what. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately, it's uh, for someone who is sharing mm -hmm. uh, some, some of your history, some of, uh, uh, lots of cultural and religious mm -hmm. uh, issues. Mm -hmm. So my expectation was uh, higher from mm -hmm. country like Iran, mm -hmm. but to be indulged in the issue of uh, the region by mm -hmm. this way and uh, uh, making I wash for the uh, for all, for all by uh, having uh, problems with America and troubles with America, and by the end of the day we realize that the the benefits are almost. Uh, going in a very smooth way. Right. So I don't know. I, I'm feeling that uh, uh, the ordinary Arab citizen now is feeling uh, that there's something going on between Iran between and America. Between Iran and America. Yeah, it's very clear now. It's very we obvious. Don't need, we don't need to, uh, it's very to obvious. listen to this uh, kind of... It's uh, started to be very obvious after the uh, last nuclear deal, yes. and specifically. And moving on uh, to our last news item from the New York Times. And the headline reads, Clinton and Sanders to meet as D.C. marks the final primary. Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders ended the primary calendar with a face-to-face -face meeting that could set the tone for democratic unity and next month's party convention in Philadelphia. Clinton and Sanders plan to meet on the night of the final presidential primary in the District of Columbia, a contest that will have no bearing on Clinton's role as the presumptive nominee, but marks a transition in the lengthy primary fight between the two rivals. The Vermont senator has vowed to do all he can to prevent Republican Donald Trump from reaching the White House, but suggested he will not endorse Clinton immediately. How do you find the U.S. presidential uh, race and its results? What are your expectations for uh, the uh, presidential election in the U.S. presidential elections? I want to return to the uh, previous uh, piece of news about mm -hmm. uh, Donald Ir Trump and uh, Iran. And Iran. Mm -hmm. and, uh, as Iran is putting uh, eye mm -hmm. uh, on uh, all candidates and what they are saying exactly, mm -hmm. we should also mm -hmm. uh, do the same. Mm -hmm. We should uh, care also of our benefits, mm -hmm. see the different uh, uh, views mm -hmm. uh, on this very important election mm -hmm. and uh, to also uh, have uh, our uh, ties and uh, links uh, with all, mm -hmm. uh, especially those who are uh, uh, going on our benefit and will keep mm -hmm. uh, our relations and will also uh, uh, strengthen mm -hmm. uh, our benefits. Right, uh, Dr. Nader Mustafa, Member of Parliament, many thanks for joining us, sir. Yes, sure. And uh, dear viewers, with this we wrap up this edition of World Today. Many thanks for watching and stay tuned for the top stories coming up in a moment.